In a recent Metro Magazine article, columnist Omar Mualem made the shocking confession that he is, in fact, a Holocaust denier. That's right. Metro Magazine is running articles written by Omar Mualem in which the Holocaust is ferociously and adamantly denied. The article in question is called Five Bad Edmonton Habits to Break in 2014. Uh, link in the low bar. A lot of people I've talked to about this have flat out told me that there's no logical way to draw any kind of Holocaust denying message from said article, but that doesn't matter. Uh, even if it's been pointed out to me, it doesn't matter, because I read the article, and that's the meaning I got from it. Therefore, I am perfectly justified in broadcasting my own wacky interpretation as though it were news. Uh, I never used to think that this sort of thing, this sort of behavior, was anything approaching responsible journalism, but Omar showed me the error of my ways. See, in his first article about Men's Rights Edmonton, entitled Men's Rights Edmonton's Message Hard to Follow, Omar repeatedly referred to our presence at the Edmonton Slut Walk as a counter-protest. Uh, link below. Uh, so then I made a video that was mostly about Ryan Vanderhoek, but I did mention Omar Mwalem a couple times in it. Uh, I explained that we went to the Slut Walk with a message and approach that in no way opposed or disagreed with the Slut Walkers, and I sent the video to Omar, mocking him for falsely reporting that we had counter-demonstrated the slut walk. Omar told me that he saw the video of the slut walk and that's what he got from it. Uh, that being, um, you know, the counter-protest. Really? Because we got video of our own and uh, here's what we saw. Question about, we have the word sluts, you have the word sluts on your posters. Now, we clearly have a different context as to why we're using the term slut. What, 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 yeah. Is it? What, what term do you use? For, what do you use slut <laughs> for? What, what do you think a slut is? Tell me, I'd like to hear your definition of a slut. You self-identify as a slut? You yes, know? I do. Yeah? In what way? Define the word slut for me. That's what I'd like to hear. I'll sleep with anybody. Yeah? Okay. Well, does that give the right to tell me you want to like, like what do you do yeah. with this? No, I'm not going to sleep with I'm just really curious. No, you have to. Do you want to do it Oh, no, I don't want to sleep with You're totally not excited about Thank you for your consent, you. but I'm going to reject you. Standard. But the thing is, though, I mean, there's a term slut, and there's a proper use for it, but wait a second, there is no proper use for it, is there? I'm just here to say I love sluts. That's it. That's my message. Omar watches that, and based on that, he told the world that we were protesting the slut walk and he did it again even after I corrected him. He says a bunch of stupid shit in this article, but he also says that our efforts didn't result in any meaningful debate. Uh, well, Omar, it's not for lack of trying. Uh, Karen has been trying to get a live debate between herself and Dr. Stasia for months. Uh, for more on that, here's Karen. Hello, everyone, and hi, Dr. Stasia and Omar. Dr. Christina Stasia has made the repeated claim on Twitter and perhaps elsewhere, that members of Men's Rights Edmonton, maybe even all MRAs, refuse to debate on camera. Well, on November 21st, a university student from Wisconsin in extended an offer to host um, and moderate a debate between myself and Dr. Stasia. His email was BCC'd to both Dr. Stasia and myself. I replied the next day to accept his invitation and suggested that it be done through a live on-air Google Hangout. He emailed Dr. Stasia to notify her of my acceptance, and then ten days later followed up with a request for a response from her either way. As far as I know, she has not responded at all, not even to decline. I wonder if Omar could find a way to spin that, the way he magically transformed a demonstration of support on the part of Men's Rights Edmonton into a counter-protest. Twice. 
Omar has knowingly spread misinformation about men's rights Edmonton and therefore knowingly spread misinformation about Karen's drug. And he's used Metro Magazine to do it. Uh, if you think that Metro should take steps to rectify this, either by way of public retraction or public apology, please email this video to uh, edmonton at metronews.ca, and I will be putting a link to that email address in the low bar. Uh, if you want Metro News to know that Karen has been trying to get a debate going with Dr. Stasia, and Dr. Stasia is refusing, please email this video to edmonton at metronews.ca, and there will be a link in the low bar. Uh, and if you want to make... If you want to really make sure that Metro Magazine knows how you feel about this, you can call them at 1-780-702-0592. Nick Redding, Men's Rights Edmonton, dot com.